Hi everybody, it's Miss Walsh from the library at Summit Hall. Today I'm going to show you how to sign up for a digital public library card. So if you already have a library card from Montgomery County Public Libraries, you don't need to watch this. You can find your library card and log into your account and start reading ebooks. If you don't have a public library card, watch this video and I'll show you how to sign up. So on this page, I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to click on get a digital library card now. Once I'm on this page, this is where I'm going to register for a library card. So I need to put my name, my birthday, my address, um, where I live, my zip code, a phone number, and an email address. So you might want to fill this form out with a parent because you're going to have to use their phone number and their email address. You cannot use your MCPS email address. You have to use a parent's. So I'm going to fill this out as if I'm Harry Potter. And so I would type in Harry Potter, but you are typing in your own information. Um, you're going to type in your birthday. So his birthday is July, which is the month 7, 31. And then his year is 1980. So put the last two digits of your year. So your birth month, the number, the day, and then the year. Now you're going to type in your address. And if you live in an apartment, go ahead and type in your apartment number. And then type in your city. And we live in Maryland. That's our state. And then type in your zip code. And now this is where you're going to get a phone number with permission from your parent. So have your parent come over and type in their phone number. Okay. And then your parent has to type in their email address or a personal email address. You cannot use your MCPS email. It is blocked. It will not let you get any emails from the library. So go ahead and type in your personal email address or your parents email address I'm typing in his guardians and then you're going to type it in one more time your pin number is going to be your library password your pin number is your birth year so if you were born in the year 2010, 2010, you're going to type 2010. If you were born in the year 2014, you're going to type 2014. So think in your head, what year were you born? All right, now type in that year and type it one more time. And then we're going to click on this little arrow and we're going to find Gaithersburg. And now we're going to click on register. And once we get here, it says, please check your email to complete the registration process. So now I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to go over to my Gmail account, which is just gmail.com. Press enter. Um, gmail.com. And now I'm going to look for an email from Cersei or CRC, however you want to say it. This is the public library. So it says, thank you for registering at Gaithersburg. Your digital library number is right here. So I'm going to copy this. So I highlighted it with my two fingers. And now I'm going to do a two finger tap, tap, Oops, try again, tap, copy. And now I'm going to go back here to my online registration and I'm going to log in. I'm going to use my two finger tap and click paste. And now I'm going to type in my pin number, which is my birth year. So type in your, the year that you were born and press log in. And you can save your username and password. 
and it says welcome Harry Potter. So now if I go to the home page on the public libraries. Okay, once I'm back on the Montgomery County Public Libraries home page, I'm going to click on books and more. And then I'm going to click ebooks. Ebooks, remember, stands for electronic books. That's what we can read now um, while the library is closed. And then if I scroll down a little bit, I'm going to click on children because this is going to give me the resources that I can use at my house. So we have lots of different ebooks that we can look at. We can look at audiobooks, book flicks, junior library guild, overdrive. RB Digital, Tumble Books, and even Tumble Math. Canopy has movies for kids and families. Mango Languages and Muzzy help you learn new languages. And then we even have e-magazines and music if you want to listen to those things. So I'm going to show you um, book flicks really fast. And then if you want to look at Overdrive for ebooks or Tumble Books, uh, you can do that as well. So I'm going to click on book flicks. And once I'm on, once I click on book flicks, it's going to take me to log in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste my numbers back in and I'm going, and then I'm going to uh, go down and I'm going to type in my pin number, which is the year I was born. Then I'm going to click log in or press enter. And it's going to take you to BookFlix where you can watch little videos or read the books they read to you and do little activities like that. You can, of course, save your password. I'm not going to save it right now, but I'm going to skip the intro because click I've used this category, before. Or click on the feature to begin. So you can see the different categories. We have lots of different books. So I'm going to close out of this one. Um, again, if you want to go to Overdrive and see ebooks or audiobooks, Tumble Books, we've used that in school before, Canopies, movies. So go ahead and once you sign up for your library account, you can explore all of these different links for children. If it asks you to log in, use your library card that you just made. And if it asks to make an account, you need to ask a parent first. I hope you enjoy reading and watching things on the Public Library website. If you have any questions, please ask me. My name is Michelle L. Walsh. You can send me an email. And have a great summer with reading. And I hope that you guys complete the activities from the Public Library and earn a little prize. See you soon. Bye.